in this tutorial I will show you how to make these adorable notebooks for back to school. I made a couple different styles for this video and I had a really good time doing it so I really hope that you will try this project out as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com and if you enjoy this video please click the like button, it really helps me out. For this project, you'll need something to protect your work surface, a notebook, pretty pictures either from a magazine or printed out, a template in a symmetrical shape, Mod Podge, scissors, and a junky old paintbrush. The first thing you'll want to do is get your pictures. I just printed mine out onto sturdy photo paper. Then you'll want to cut out each of your photos using your template. You can either hold it over the photo and cut it out or trace it onto each one and then cut them out all together. And all of the photos that I printed out are just some pretty images that I had saved on Tumblr. Once you've cut out all of your photos, you'll want to arrange them before you start gluing them down. Find an order that really feels good to you and then once you've arranged them all, you're ready to start gluing. Put a nice thin layer of Mod Podge onto the surface of the notebook and then press the picture into place and do another thin coat over the top of it. If you make the coat too thick, it's going to saturate the paper and make it bubble up. So make sure that you don't put too much on initially and this will seal it into place. Once you get to the edges of your notebook, you can cut these pieces to fit and then you get a really cool tile effect. Once you've done the entire notebook with your photos, then put a nice thin layer over the top of the entire thing with your Mod Podge and this will seal it into place. I had a really good time making these and I love that you can do this on just about any type of notebook with just about any theme of photos. For the next type of notebook I did, you'll need a thin notebook, embroidery thread, a large needle, and some scissors. Using a piece of paper as a straight edge, you'll want to start mapping out your holes before you punch them through. You'll just want to prick them gently and then when you can pull the notebook up away from the pages inside, then puncture them all the way through with your needle. And then tie a knot in the end of your embroidery thread. I recommend you do a double knot. And then beginning from the inside of your notebook, start stitching your notebook into whatever pattern you prefer. Then begin stitching from inside out so that the knot stays on the inside of the notebook. I just did an in and out pattern so that I had a simple stitch line. But you can really do any pattern that you like. I recommend keeping it simple, keeping it close to the outer edge of the notebook or close to the binding of the notebook. You can also do some pendant type designs in the center of the notebook, but I prefer to start off just with these simple linear designs. After I had done the first stitching, I started on a row of X's that ran parallel to that first design, and then once I had stitched all of the X's, I moved on to a series of dashes next to that. I like to keep this really simple, and I love the way the colorful thread looks against the brown craft paper on the outside of this notebook. Once I was finished with each design, I finished off the stitching with a knot. And what I recommend when you're doing this knot is to use your needle in the center of the knot and pull the thread up while you push the needle down to make sure that the knot stays close to your notebook. And I like to do a double knot so I know that the thread isn't going to slip out through the puncture hole. And that's all there is to it. I really enjoyed making these notebooks and I hope you decide to try out this project for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you tell me about it in the comments below and please click that like button.